okay i am drawing the regions hormones and regulations regulated by sonar glomerulosa sonar fasciculate and sonar reticularis hormone aldosterone and fasciculate glucocorticoids or cortisol and reticularis is androgens and glucocorticoids and andros, uh, androgens are regulated by ACTH level and aldosterone is regulated by angiotensin 2 and potassium concentration level and the reticularis the innermost cortical layer the sonar reticularis produces androgens mainly dehydroepiandrosterone and the sulfate in humans the effects of the cortisol mainly the body's response to stress the permissive effect on glucagon which means that uh, cortisol have an effect on glucagon and memory learning and mood gluconeogenesis skeletal muscle breakdown lipolysis calcium balance and immune depression and circadian rhythms cortisol have the uh, have the cap capability to break down the proteins and cortisol role in disease and medications used as an immunosuppressant hyperimmune med reactions in these things serious side effects uh, hypercortisolism in Cushing syndrome um, it may be tumors pituitary or adrenal iatrogenic or physician caused Hy hypercortisolism can be two variants Cushing syndrome or Cushing's disease Cushing syndrome is regardless of origin where it may be adrenal or it may be any other area but in Cushing's disease it is from uh, pituitary that the level of ACTH is uh, high then it leads to increase the production of the cortisol and hypocortisol also Addison's disease cortisol level is decreased in Addison disease adrenal medulla adrenal medulla is the core of the adrenal gland and it is surrounded by adrenal cortex the chromaffin cells of the medulla named for their characteristic brown staining with chromic acid salts are the body's main source of the circulating catecholamines adrenaline and noradrenaline adrenal med medulla uh, and the these hormones derived from amino acids tyrosine and these water soluble hormones are major hormones underlying fight or flight uh, response adrenal medulla receives input from sympathetic nervous system which means that uh, it is regulated by autonomic nervous system and epinephrine and norepinephrine is regulated by uh, autonomic nervous system that is they said the adrenal medulla lacks distinct synapses and releases its secretion directly into blood Cortisol also promotes epinephrine synthesis in the medulla produced in the cortex. Cortisol reaches the adrenal medulla and at high levels, the hormone can promote the upregulation of phenylethanolamine and methyl transferase PNMT, thereby increasing epinephrine synthesis and secretion. Finally, the blood supply of the uh, adrenal gland. Although variations of the blood supply to the adrenal gland, the indeed kidney themselves are common. There are usually three arteries that supplies each adrenal gland superior suprarenal artery from inferior phrenic artery middle suprarenal artery from uh, abdominal aorta inferior suprarenal artery from the renal artery so i am here drawing the abdominal aorta and it has a branch to the kidney that is known as renal artery I'm drawing above the adrenal gland and the adrenal gland have a branch inferior suprarenal artery from the renal artery so middle suprarenal artery is a direct branch 
from abdominal aorta to the adrenal gland and supra, uh, superior suprarenal artery is coming from inferior phrenic artery and the venous drainage of the adrenal gland is there achieved via suprarenal veins the right uh, suprarenal vein drains into inferior vena cava left suprarenal vein drains into left renal vein or left inferior phrenic vein we know the inferior vena cava is located uh, right side to abdominal aorta through the abdominal aorta for locating the uh, precise location and abdominal aorta uh, inferior vena cava is located right to the abdominal aorta and it drains the blood from right kidney through the right renal vein and right suprarenal gland have direct drainage from direct drainage to the inferior vena cava and left kidney drainage into left renal vein and the left suprarenal gland i already said that it has a semi lunar in shape and it will drain the blood into the left renal vein so left suprarenal vein drain into left renal vein 